All right, guys. Today we are talking about some more MagnaCut. And this is a bug out reblade done by Brian at Transparent Knives for Tom. Pretty sure this one is his. This one, I know Tom told me the hardnesses on these. Pretty sure this one is 65, if I'm remembering right. Actually kind of like this blade shape. Reminds me a lot of the Sheep's Foot Griptilian. And I do know the secondary bevel is 15 degrees per side. I did sharpen this. And by comparing the bevel to some other stuff I have, my calipers are packed. I think I've told you guys that before. It's in the 8 to 10 thousandths behind the edge range. You can feel it's nice and thin. You can see it's nice and thin. I'm not going to be able to get it to focus real well. It's thin. And the other one I have to test is the... I believe this is for his 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Don't quote me on that. I'm not positive which one is which. But if that is the case, this one is just over 64. And it is also 15 degrees per side and somewhere in the 8 to 10 thousandths behind the edge range. I'm going to test both of these. I know Tom has already tested both of them. I don't think he's put a video out about it yet. Get the results of how it does. Then I can compare them to the other hardnesses of MagnaCut that I have already tested. And see where we go from there. So I have this one. It's a little bit softer than this one here. So we'll go ahead and get the cutting out of the way. And come back and talk about how these things sharpened. How they strapped back. Things like that. As well as the results. Which is why everybody comes here. So let's go ahead and get that cutting. Now that we saw that cutting, go ahead and talk about how both of these did. I did sharpen both of these a couple times to do the original test and the confirmation test. This is the one that is just over 64. This is Tom's that is 65. And I'll start out with this one here. Because they'd already been tested with, I could just get right into testing with them. And this Magna Cut at 64. On the first test, 
176 feet fine edge, 170 feet working edge for a total of 346 feet. That is pretty close to the BGM Magna Cut. Not more than a few feet off on either one. That's why I said in the video I still need to take a hardness on that, but I think it's harder than what John thinks it is. So then I went ahead and sharpened this again up to 1500 grit, strapped it the same way, five passes per side, 631 micron, and ran the confirmation test. And on that test, 170 feet fine edge, 173 feet working edge for a total of 343 feet. Custom crew wear at 64. From what I can tell with this, pretty solid stuff. I do still have the mule to test and get the hardness on. Don't know how hard that one is, and I don't know what it cuts yet. I haven't gotten to it. But this one did well. Very happy with it. Moving on to this one. Same way, like I talked about, 15 degrees per side up to 1500 grit, 631 micron, five passes per side, and I went ahead and cut with it. And this Magna Cut that's a little bit harder, 191 feet fine edge, 236 feet working edge for a total of 427 feet. So a pretty good jump in just under a point of hardness on Magna Cut. Sharpened it again, ran the confirmation test. 193 feet fine edge, 238 feet working edge for a total of 431 feet. Absolutely happy with that. I know I keep saying this, I can't wait to test even more Magna Cut to see how all these different ones fall into place, how they do. But a 65 here from Brian, absolutely solid performance from this blade. I will down the road compare this to Custom 4V, also at 65. But that's for another video. I won't have these knives then, but I will refer back to this video. As far as how this sharpens, because it's thinner behind the edge, it sharpens extremely fast. I just hit it a few passes per side on 600 grit diamond plate, then 1500 grit diamond plate, and I had a burr with each stone on each side both of these deburred very easily no problems whatsoever and more notably both of these i didn't i was able to get rid of almost all of the burr before i even left the diamond plate which i'm really happy about that as well i have I've been having a bunch of people ask me, I don't know how production companies are going to do Magna Cut. Even if they do send us out something that's a little bit harder, all the testing so far with all different steels is shown. For any given steel at a particular hardness, because more care can be taken from a small maker, it ends up with a better heat treat and in almost every case cuts more than the same hardness from a production knife. How much of this are we going to see at 65 from production companies? Um, 
I don't know if we're going to see much, if any at all. Are we going to see it at 64, 63? It's, it's all up in the air. I don't know. I am curious to see, though, if companies that run stuff on the softer side that pick up Magna Cut as a steel end up also running it on the softer side, or if they actually up the hardness on it. Either way, as some production pieces come out and I can get some samples to test, I'll keep coming back to this and compare to it. We are going to see a lot of Magna Cut in the future because it's so stainless because of the toughness level for it being so stainless and because it has good edge stability. I know quite a few companies have already announced that they're going to be using it. There's quite a list. If you guys have any Magna Cut, if you have a reblade from Brian, if you want to talk about it, share your experiences down below. That would be great. That's all I have for this one. As always, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.